Hey guys, welcome back. This is Summer again from Alibaba Cloud Database Product Team. In the past few weeks, focus on database security, we introduced 10 threats to your database, 10 tips to improve your database security. And last week, we introduced a feature of open source MySQL to create password policy to ensure that you always use strong password. This week, we will introduce how to deal with your sensitive data. With no doubt, I believe there are a lot of ways you can choose from to realize uh, sensitive data handling. But our suggestion would be to use data management service on Alibaba Cloud, which can help you to do data masking for different systems in your production environment. Okay, for those who are not familiar with this product, you can uh, check on our website. I will leave the topic to my colleague AK because um, he's more experienced in this product. And he will give you guys much more details about this tool and even conduct a live demonstration. So next, let me switch to AK directly. Hello, everyone. My name is Ankit Kapoor, and I'm a database architect in Alibaba Cloud. And being a database architect, we generally work on various uh, database solutions related to the OLTP, OLAP, NoSQL. So, we are going to have various short videos on the DMS where we will pick up each and every concepts of the DMS which we think uh, might be useful for the various businesses which is generally uh, kind of various occurrences. So in this video we are going for the database masking that is your underlying data, how you can mask your data, how you can semi-mask and even how you can provide more securities. Um, so let's see uh, what we can do this. Uh, so just have a recap, which I have already provided in my various previous videos. So DMS, uh, DMS offers a highly efficient, secure, and comprehensive database development environment. By this, I mean that, uh, that DMS makes you unable to design your database according to your own requirement. So if you want to have a stricter control that, okay, now all the tables should have a primary key. And if any user is trying to create a primary key, okay, so let's take like, if any user is trying to create a table without a primary key, the DMS should deny it. So you cannot create a table. And also, if you want to streamline your entire database development, which I mean that if you want that, okay, all the changes should go through the all the database environments, let's say from the uh, staging environment, from the development, and let's to the uh, production environment. You can have a strict control over all these things via DMS. So uh, DMS provides various kinds of um, security features. You can uh, see here that is R&D workflow, R&D specification, data security, which we will focus uh, in this video. And uh, just to have a quickly uh, recap, DMS supports various databases, which are mentioned here. These are not all the databases, but these databases can be on the RDS, it can be on the public network, and it can be on some other cloud. Uh, so let's try to go to the console and see how you can mask the data. Uh, so this is my uh, DMS console, which you can have it from your Alibaba Cloud console. So in the DMS, as I mentioned previously in my videos, we have various kind of modes uh, which have different features. So this is the free one, and this is the middle tier one, and this is the most uh, which is having all the features. Uh, you can add instance uh, from this part which we can cover in the other videos. So uh, as I can see that I have already added two of my testing instance. This is my RDS MySQL, which you can always see here. So this is my MySQL. This is on cloud. And this is in the India region. So let's try to see. These are my databases, which I have already created here. And these are all of my tables. So let's try to see how we can mask the data. Let's take a table that is authors. And let's try to see what we have it here. Okay, I will select this data. Okay, now I have these data, which columns, uh, ID, first name, last name, email, birth date, and edit. That is added on. Uh, so before proceeding, uh, I will say uh, the masking means if you don't want to make your data visible to your customers or within your organization, you can mask the data, you can encrypt the data. So like for example, if you want that, okay, the first name of your customer should not be visible to anyone, you can mask this data with any kind of algorithms, which I will try to show you. 
and then you can also mask the emails. Uh, so for that, what we can do here is that uh, in the table name, we will see what are the security levels. So DMS provides three types of security levels. One is internal, which means uh, the data will show as it is. Then the sensitive and the confidential, which is the most highest part. So in the sensitive and confidential, you can always mask your data. So let's try to see how we can do that. So let, let me make uh, these two columns, that is first name and the email as confidential. You can do sensitive as well. It will work similarly. So let's try to submit this change. So in, in the DMS, uh, if you will make any kind of changes, it will go through the various approvals. So if I will click here, it will go through the approval. For this testing part, I am the owner of this uh, instance. If I will approve it here, let me tell you, while submitting this request, the, the change request, you can also get the notification. So if you go here in the workbench part, you can see I have added my email in this one. So you can also add your email part here, which will be uh, fine. Let's go back here. Okay. So uh, I will approve this one here and submit. Let's try to execute the same query. It was not encrypted before and now let's see. Now you can see the first name and the email has been completely masked. Now let's take some cases which you want to semi-mask your data and you don't want uh, these kinds of uh, characters like the asterisk part. How you can make it more complex. So let's go into the security part into sensitive data. So we have data masking management, we have row level security. Data masking management means that you can design your various rules. Let's try to create a rule uh, for designing part. I have created my own one, but I will try to show you more how you can do that. So let's try to see that into the demo, Ankit, and the data masking algorithms. So you can see we have various algorithms. We have hash, cover up, replacement, transformation, and encryption. Encryption as name implies, you can directly do the encryption part. We will try, we will go from the encryption part first, which will be easy to understand. So you can have a uh, data encryption algorithm, you can have advanced encryption. So let's try to see from the DES, if you want to go for some DES algorithm and you want to set the password like, for example, a demo at the rate one, two, three, four, and you have a row data, let's say, awesome day, and let's test it. So you will get this kind of masking result. And if you want to go for the AES, which requires 16-bit password, you have to increase this one. So like, let's say five, six, seven, eight, let's test it. Oh, we cannot have it because it needs 16 digit password. Let's try to increase it with some other one. So then two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we have the 16 digit part now. Now this is uh, encrypted. This is straight away, no complexity. Let's go for the hash one part. So in the algorithm types, in the hash algorithms, we have different algorithms. In the hash one, we have MD5, we have SHA, SHA256, HMAC. These are all the most popular algorithms already available. So let's try with the MD5. If you want to go for the MD5, you can say this type of encryption will be done. If you go for the SHA, you can go with the this one. Let's try to make it controllable, how we can control the data without using algorithms. Let's take cover up. I want to use fixed position cover and I want to use the character string ampersand sign with the one comma four and let's try to encrypt it. So you can see uh, my one, my A W E S, that is my from one to four string has been encrypted using this cover string. So you can have it more as well if you want and test so you can encrypt the uh, this complete string let's say in those cases where you have um, the numbers in your part let's try to click transformation number rounding okay let's try to have some number which says um, 678.345 now let's say you want to round this number using the first decimal place will be go for the first one that is immediate one 
let's go for the two part it will be 70 so uh, in this way you can even encrypt your data part also and then the date rounded you can even um, round your data as well and then the character displacement so like for example if you if you have uh, if i will use the same string that is awesome day and i use one it will change the first letter to the last one so you can see my a went at the last part that depends on how your business uh, is looking for the uh, encryption so we have seen all the parts if you want to go for the replacement also we can go for the replacement we have map replacement so like for example you have you want to replace the string um let's say uh, a w one one access let's say you can see you can you will see just all those two words you you won't see the complete part so this is how uh, the mainly masking algorithms works um, in the dms let's try to create a new one let's go for the uh, power up we can go for the fixed position cover we will go for the cover string let's go for the um, this one this one this one this one this one and we will go for the let's try to use hello you look awesome and you want to go for the string between four to nine and let's encrypt it okay let's make it more complex 40 50. okay now this is our uh, testing part let's try to add it here okay now we have added it here we want to make sure that this particular demo on case should be used in our columns which we have created the uh, sensitive or the confidential part so this is our database masking policies which we have so you can see i have uh, uncate first name here email here let's try to adjust the security level first modify let's see we have demo uncate save and if you want to same for the first name as well let's try to change it demo uncate. okay now we have same for both of these columns now let's check if the algorithm has been implemented going here oops we have seen that okay my these two column has still not using the new algorithm okay so here in the dms you need to apply for the semi sensitivity permissions so if you want that okay that you should use some other algorithms also that you need to apply for the permissions so let's go for the permission part and apply for it so we have the sensitive column permission so let's try to see which database i have here unkit search okay so while adding here you need to make ensure that your two columns that is email and the first name or whatever your column is should be declared as sensitive otherwise it won't be available here so let's try to add these two columns in here so permission is query you can query the data you can export it and you can change the the sensitive column so uh, these are the permission levels you can apply for and then the semi saturation part and the duration like for example if i want to have for one month or for one day that is for my training purpose and this is for training purpose and i will submit it again this will go for the approval and i will receive the notification on my email if i have enabled it let's approve it submit okay now this is success let's go back and check again execute so now you can see here my uh, these two columns has already been masked with the new algorithm which i have designed so uh, this is how masking has been done and you need to make sure that okay while once you have covered it up you want to to remove all those permissions how you can revoke it go to the permissions go into the sensitive column permission because you have applied for the sensitive part and these two one will be here revoke it release the permissions okay select the permission which you want to release and okay let's go back and check whether uh, the permission has been revoked or not 
secured. Okay, so this has been uh, went back to the complete masking rule. Let's refresh it. Okay. Okay, let's make it internal again. Going back, reduce the uh, level of this security. Again, it's going to again ask for approval. So this is how DMS is controlling each and every of your chain which you are performing. Submit. Again, it will go for the approval, the same flow which I have explained before. And let's check again whether it gives me the plain text or not. Okay, so I'm back to the uh, normal. So this is how you can have the masking. You can even export your uh, your data, which is masked. You can uh, you can even control um, the changes also. Few more things which I want to explain you here. Let's go back again and. Uh, um, you want to mask this data. OK, let me try to refresh it. OK. At the security level, let me try to go back again to sensitive and apply for the permission. Approve, submit. And here, if you remember, let's close this one. Let me try to um, open from again part. Okay, so we have already created this column as sensitive. Now let's go to the system, security, and sensitive data. So we have row level summary, so low level security as well. So what this means is that if you want this data or this column should not be available to anyone, then what you can do, you can add the control group. You can create demo, ankit, add your column name, add your database instance, database name, your table name that's authors the field name first name and add it okay now let's try to check whether we have um, this column whether we can select this column so we have first this good name from this authors okay so this is denied this is the permission of like, this is the uh, like uh, the working of row level security where you can uh, restrict your readability of the particular column. Uh, this is how uh, masking works and how you can control uh, lower level securities. So in this uh, in this video, we have covered the masking part, how you can do the semi-masking, how you can design your own masking rules, how you can uh, create the permission and how you can even revoke the permissions. In the later video, we will focus more on estimating the process of the database approvals and how you can make it more efficient by while designing your database uh, development. I really hope that you have enjoyed the session today and uh, we will see you in the next video. Thanks for joining.